Hi everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing our very first Halloween design. So we've got this bluey, whitey, purpley um, Halloween design going on today. So we've got Lagoon being our blue and bold white for our white. All from Madame Glam today. We do also have a purple and this like bluey purple kind of shade. We've got Pink Liberty and Glorious. So those are all the colours and we're going to start working on our background shades. Today I'm using the shorter coffin style nails um, and that's usually the case when I like to do some stamping um, or mainly like stamping nail art design because that way it's so much easier to stamp because of course naturally on the stamping plate the images are quite small so those are much more nicer to work with. So we've got almost like every different shade of colour on each nail. Then on the last two we're going to do an ombre with this dark bluey shade and a light blue shade. And we're going to ombre the two together. Then on to the next nail we're going to ombre the same colours I think. But we're just going to flip them over. So if you had the light blue at the bottom on the other nail it's going to be at the top. So I'm just using my Madame Glam Ombre brush and I'm just swiping from the left to the right in pretty quick movements um, to blend the two colours in the centre. And then once I'm happy, it's all going to go into the lamp off camera real quick. I'll just do the second coat and then we can start working on our, on our actual nail art design. We do have some fringe tips that we need to work on and we've got quite a few stamping bits going on too. After I'm happy with that, at this stage I've got two layers applied and I'm just going to sprinkle on some purple fine glitter on top of this pinky nail and um, I'm just sprinkling it on top of the wet layer of the gel polish and then once I'm happy I'll pop it in for a double cure into the lamp just to make sure it penetrates through well and it cures everything into place. Just a little disclaimer, no one's wearing these nails guys so don't worry about any gels or anything going on or if there's anything I might do a bit wrong. These are not going to be worn, this is all just for um, nail art purposes and just to show you guys some techniques and different designs and hopefully spark some ideas. On these dark nails, we're going to do a French tip. So um, we've got one, um, well, this nail that's kind of dark bluey looking, but it's kind of actually purpley <laughs> in my like final picks that I'm looking at. So I'm using the white to do the French tip, and we're going to do another French tip on the other full cover nail, which is bluey. So this one's like a purpley, dark purple kind of colour. The other one is a kind of darky lighty blue <laughs> but here goes another white this white is bold white and oh boy do i love it it's just so so good for french tips and any kind of white details that you want to work on with your nail art brush this gel polish is literally the one to go for it's so opaque it works so well it's one of madame glam's newest white and i am honestly in love i'd love to have an end of supply if i could it's honestly just great so I'm just going to quickly colour in that French tip again. Literally, if you wanted to get away with just one coat, you absolutely can. I've got such a dark colour underneath and I can get away with one coat. It's honestly the best white ever, ever, ever. So if you are on the hunt for a new white, I want to try some new whites out. This is the one for you, honestly. Try it out. I'll have as many links as I can in the description for you guys today. I should have a discount code for Random Glam too, so you can save yourself some money if you wanted to shop with them. That will then go into the lamp. I can't remember now if I did do another coat of the white. I know just through practice, I always just do two coats. I could have done another coat. Who knows, but it definitely does not need it. This is the stamping plate we're going, going to use. We've got Halloween collection plate number 16. It's so cute. Honestly, love it so much. And there's so many variations on there too that you can use. We've got some bluey stamping polish. This one's called Nile River. We've got some purple from Moe London. Sweet lilac i think it said and we've got this shimmery one flowing clouds i think it said and of course some black we can't be doing the stamping without black so at this stage we're going to start working on the actual stamping part of the video i sped up everything like super fast so don't worry guys i do not work this fast um i usually like to leave the whole footage in place just so you know kind of when i'm wiping my plate and what i'm doing in between everything else so you get to see it all just it's super sped up so using the purple i'm stamping down on that bluey nail then we're going to wipe down the plate we are using acetone and some lint free wipes to wipe the plate down then we are using the blue to pick up those exact same bats again and we're going to place that on the purpley nail. So it's almost like I'm trying to switch up the 
colours. So if it's on the purple, I'm trying to use the blue. If it's on the blue, I'm trying to use some purple. It's quite difficult because I didn't have the exact same shade of stamping polish in the gels. So it's really, really handy if you do have that. Um, then I really, really liked those clouds and I think they were so cute. So I thought I would stamp it on top of the ombre nails just because I thought the ombre would look pretty cool coming through in between those clouds but I have to be honest those two colors were so sim similar to one another that you weren't really able to tell too much that it's you know an ombre underneath so if you didn't want to do an ombre then literally you don't have to honestly it, you couldn't even tell that much or maybe as an alternative if you wanted it to look like um you know an, a marble underneath not a marble sorry ombre then maybe switch out the colors maybe have like colors that may be a bit more drastically different from one another than super similar like my ones lastly we're just going to stamp some more bats on this other ombre nail connect all together this is what it looks like and what's next we're going to do some reverse stamping so we're going to pick up the outlines that we've got at the top of this stamping plate we're going to color it in on our uh well little pick up -er. <laughs> oh our stamper <laughs> going to do it on our stamper and then stamp it down so first up we've got this ghost um so i wanted to color it in with some purple just to keep some more of that light purple going on because we've got it on the glitter nail we've got some little bits on the actual bat but i felt like it was still lacking a bit more purple just to bring all the colors in together and not make one look you know a bit out of place compared to the others so using a dotting tool here i thought it would make my life easier if i use a dotting tool i will then um, color it in but i did switch to a brush because i just find brushes so much nicer i thought the dotting tool would help me but it really didn't i didn't personally like it so once i color it in i do like to leave it for a split second just to dry in place then i'm going to stamp it down and i do some bouncing movements and motions and they hold it there for a little while and as you can see it's still kind of messed up a little bit there but you can just color it in and it's all good um the reason i was doing that is because we're kind of lacking that sticky layer in the background now we've already stamped once so we kind of removed that tacky layer so um if you wanted to make your life easier after stamping those spats if you just apply a layer of base coat cure that in place and then stamp again then you'll be good to go everything will be sticky again um or like me you can just force stamp it down and hope for the best <laughs> so now i really like these little bone daggers i guess they are so i'm going to use some of the um born pretty shimmery white so i didn't want to use white itself because i felt like we've obviously got white on the french tips and i don't want too much white the white is usually quite overpowering a little bit so i wanted to use this nice shimmer especially as later on we are going to matte top coat these so i thought the shimmer could look really really nice i have to admit the pressure of stamping the dagger down in the center of the nail was on it was very stressful and again if you wanted to save yourself just apply a base coat after stamping that first layer and then if you ever do something wrong then you can always wipe it off and not have to worry about obviously ruining the other stuff that you've already stamped down so now we're on to the other dagger so on the stamping plate there were two so i thought i would just switch it up i would use one and i'll use another again just color it in with that exact same stamping polish i'm trying to stay in line as much as i can but i didn't really do the best of jobs on this one um i think that's going to be our last bit now to stamp away and again that's going to go on the other french tip too just at the top in the center once that's done we're ready to do some crystals the crystal placement today very simple short and sweet to be honest we'll get to in just a second here it is stamped i did go slightly out of line but it's just not a big deal really it doesn't really can't really tell too much but here on the small small line i'm going to place some crystals down and then in between the crystals we're going to do some cover beads too which i'm about to do now and we're going to repeat that exact same process on the other french tip too um all the caviar beads and the crystals are from shein today guys the tips are from mccart i believe um i think i got them on aliexpress a little while ago so we're going to do it on the other nail too if you want to shop with shein or any places like that i've got a link in the description for quidco if you're not familiar with quidco it's a cashback website and if you use my link down below then once you get your first five pounds cashback you get 15 pounds for free just for using the site there's no charges involved it's literally just shopping as usual they've got shein aliexpress you can get all your nail supplies or you can do regular shopping like groceries or clothing or technology anything like that you just get some money back for shopping just like you would any 
anyways and then once you get your first five pounds cash back um you get yourself 15 pounds for free so it's all literally the best place and i've been using it for about two years now i think or maybe even three i think two and I've saved 800 pounds guys so it's honestly the best place ever and I do not do any shopping these days without checking Quidco first to see if they've got a cashback so definitely get on to the website and try it out because you're honestly missing out on this nail I'm just piecing the crystals in the corner and I'm going to do some caviar beads in between but I didn't include that in the video today and then once I'm happy everything is done, here are the caviar beads in case uh, you wanted to see what it looks like. I'm just going to apply a top coat on these nails real quick. The top coat that I'm using is a matte one. This one is actually from Vanalisa. I get the Vanalisa from Amazon. This one, I think it's like the 15 milliliter bottle or something. It definitely is doing like its job. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm not, not mad at it. Madame Glam Velvet Matte Top Coat is my all-time favourite though. But um, sometimes when I run out, it's just... I just need it real quick so I just hop on Amazon and just get like next day delivery pretty much. So this is the last one we're going to top coat. It's all going to go into the lamp and here are the final results. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'd love to see you all in my next video. Bye guys!